Hello everybody. In this video session, I talk about the concept of date, the way it is stored in Excel. And why should you know this? Well, if you happen to work with date formulas or if you happen to clean the data when the dates are in the wrong format, you must know this prerequisite, the way Excel stores the date. If you don't, then you'll not be able to perform those data cleaning exercises successfully. And at times, you'll find difficulty in writing if formula with respect to dates. So let's see what lies ahead. Well, uh, to start with, every valid date in Excel is a number. And what is that number? It's a number which says the number of days away from the cutoff date. Now, it might sound like a jargon. Let me explain through this diagram. Let's assume on our timeline, there's a date called 31st December 1899. It's a cutoff date. Now, if I write a date 2nd January 1900, and on top of that, I'm going to go to home tab, apply this comma separator, and notice it turns to two. Now, what is this two signifying? It signifies it is two days away from the cutoff date, not including the cutoff date itself. So for example, if I take 15th of January 1900, 15th of January 1900 and I press enter, as I apply comma style, same manner to this particular date, as expected, it is going to show me 15. Now typically you would have found this out at times when you write a formula or a date, it quickly gets converted to a number. For example, you may have tried to write a formula which is supposed to give you a result of 31st December 2011 and on your screen eventually you find the answer in this form 40908. Now what is this 40908? This signifies that it is 40,908 days away from the cutoff date. Which date? 31st December 2011. Now this is the way Excel calculates the date. If it is a number, it will calculate from the cutoff date how many days it needs to add up to reach to a certain date from the calendar point. Now, since it's a number, I can also validate whether it is a valid date. How? By using a formula called is number. For example, if I write equal to is number, this is a formula which simply asks whether the cell content is a number or not and it says true now why is this useful at times you might be worried whether the date that you are looking at on excel sheet may not be correct date in terms of format now that would create trouble that would create obstacles when you are doing a lot of date based calculation so you want to check whether it's a valid date in which case you may simply write the formula is number and choose the cell before it. Now, if it's not a date, it's not understood by Excel, it will say false. So I'll talk about these formats in detail a little later, but this is a formula which helps validate the accuracy of a date. Is this a number? If yes, then yes, it is a date. Now that we know that every valid date in Excel is stored as a number and it can be verified by the formula is number, let's proceed to see how a date can be presented to the end user when he wishes to take a printout or wishes to see a date in a certain form, the skin of the date. Yes, how I can change the skin of a date? Well, you would have already come across such a phenomenon where you would have right click on a date, went inside format cells, something that can also be activated using the shortcut key control one, once you are inside format cells, you would have picked up the desired uh, presentation value of a date. For example, in this case, if I pick this value, it will show the date in January, then the digit two, followed by a comma and then the year. Now, this is just the skin of the date. If I double click on any date, in this case, it happens to be a formula, but let's say the previous one. If I double click on any date, notice internally, it is showing you the date in MDY format. Now, where is it coming from? What is the origin of this format MDY? Well, if you could quickly go to control panel settings of your Microsoft PC, which I will do in my case, I'll press Alt tab. It's there already on my screen. Now, within that, you'll notice there's something called region and language. In the older versions of operating system of Windows, you would have found a consolidated word called region and language. In some of the occasions, you might also get the entire category group where you would find this clock language and region. 
So what I may do is I choose the category, I say large icons and then I specifically go to region. Within region, what I get to see is point number one, you can change the format from English United States to English, let's say English UK, English India and based on that country's convention of showing the dates, it will convert to MDY or DMY. For example, in this case, I go one step ahead, I go to the additional settings and therein I go to the tab of date and I'm going to choose that as DMY, DMY and let that be DMY in this case too, DMY and I'm going to press apply button, OK and apply, OK, get out of this setting. When I return back to Excel, notice this time when I write 22 slash 08 slash 2009. Now, typically, this is what DMY format. As I press enter, it accepts that as a date. How do I know for sure? If I write is number formula and check for the accuracy and validity of the date, it will say true. However, had I written the same date in the MDY format this time, 822 slash 2009, it would not accept that as a date. So basically the format, initial format DMY or MDY is controlled by the control panel settings by default, which is turned to MDY. So I go back to control panel settings region. Yes. Within which I go to additional settings. I go to the date tab and change that to MDY format, which is the default format. Same for long date or else I may simply go to the button saying reset. Yes, so it's coming back to the original form default setting. I press OK, apply, OK, and I close the entire button of control panel and go back to my Excel sheet. Notice the date that were entered earlier doesn't destabilize. It still is 22 August, although internally when I double click, it shows me 8 22 2009. What about this one? If I double click and then press enter, it then gets converted to the correct date. So all in all, the MDY or DMY can be changed through control panel settings. Format cells is just the skin and every validate is a number which can be verified using is number. And all this concept we will be applying when we go to the next couple of exercises.